Metropolis is a 1927 film directed by Fritz Lang, where tall buildings determines social class and whether one lives a life of luxury or as a beast of burden. This film is widely regarded as the genesis of modern science fiction, chock full of iconic motifs that have been bought by more movies and videos than any other film. In Metropolis, the son of the master of Metropolis follows his heart, his conscience, and most of all, a beautiful prophet named Maria who takes the children from the world below to see their well-off brothers who live and play in the gardens atop Babel, the tallest building in Metropolis. In the world below, the protagonist and hero of the film named Fredder sees the zombie-like workers toiling at the heart machine called Moloch. If you see only one silent film, this should be it. Fritz Lang's wife, Thea von Harbu, wrote the screenplay and was a member of the Nazi party at the time. Legend has it that the film so impressed Hitler that he had his propaganda minister, Joseph Goebbels, to appoint Lang as head of the National Socialist Film Studios, which Lang refused and subsequently fled Germany for America. Lots of history to this film, and if you haven't seen it, I promise you'll understand why people consider this film the first true science fiction masterpiece prior to Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. This film is not owned by Criterion. It was restored and is currently distributed under Kino, which did an excellent job, I may add. Thanks for watching this short video review of Fritz Lang's 1927 masterpiece, Metropolis. And if you like the video, I would appreciate it if you would leave a like, also a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos such as this one. Thank you, and I will see you next time.